hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so today we are going to talk about yet another interesting topic that is how to deal with browser based authentication pop-up in selenium 3 as well as in selenium 4 so what happens um, when we try to launch a url sometimes we are encountered with this kind of authentication pop-ups right so if we want to interact with the application we need to provide these credentials only then we will land onto the page right or land onto the application right so if we are doing it manually then that is okay to provide the credentials what if we are doing it through automation so in those cases it become a challenge because this particular kind of pop-up these are browser based pop-up and when we try to inspect these pop-ups we are unable to inspect them why because these are not part of dom right so how to deal with this kind of pop-ups this is what we are going to cover today so there are two ways one is by passing the credentials within the url and second by using the has authentication interface of selenium 4 right so we are going to cover both of the cases in today's session right now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, simply create one chrome i'm going to replicate this so what we will do we will simply use this particular url and here when we will hit this particular url so we will see that we are getting this pop-up right now manually if we will enter admin admin so admin admin is the username and password for this particular endpoint we are able to proceed further right now let us try to replicate the same in case of selenium right so what i have done i have created one basic project wherein which is a maven project so and in maven project as you know that we have uh, pom.xml and where we define the dependency so i'm using selenium 4.17 which is the latest version of selenium as of now that is march 2024 now the next thing is what we are going to do so we are going to do the initial setup so i have created one class authentication right and this particular authentication class i'm i'm having one main method so where i'm going to write the code so what I will do simply, I will simply use web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. Right. If you will observe that I have written web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. And as you know that in order to interact with the browser, what do we need? We need one Chrome driver exe to be downloaded. So for that purpose, we used to use system.set property or web driver manager. Right. But in Selenium 4, there is no need of that because there is a class selenium manager which internally takes care of it in case you want to understand more on that part you can get back to my one one of the previous video which i have created in past to understand more on what is webdriver manager what is selenium manager and i'll be sharing the link of same okay now the next step is we are going to replicate the same scenario here so what i will do i will simply copy paste this particular url and we'll pass it here right we have initialized the driver now we are going to launch the url right so let us run the same now we will see that it will launch one chrome browser and it will ask for credentials right so we are stuck here because selenium is unable to proceed further so how to deal with this so this is what we will be discussing now right so before we move on let us try to hit the same url through postman so what i'm going to do i'm going to create one uh, get request so this is one get request i'm clearing the previous logs and when we will hit this endpoint so we will get 401 right which is unauthorized because we haven't provided the credentials so one way is to pass the credentials using this basic auth because this particular url is expecting the basic authentication that is username and password as soon as we have selected basic auth we can now provide username and password and when we'll hit this endpoint we are getting 200 right so this is one way second way is in case we don't want to use this authorization section we can directly provide the credentials here itself admin admin 
at the rate so username so what is the syntax username colon password at the rate right and that then the rest of the url so in this case also it will work and this will work in case of basic authentication only right so this is the some internal behavior of the endpoint in case of basic, basic authentication if we pass username and password as part of url it authenticate internally right so we are going to use the same concept in case of selenium now right now what i will do i will simply replace my previous url with this particular url with username and password embedded into it now we are going to run it so we will notice that this time we won't get that particular pop-up because it is authenticated internally so we will observe the same this time so it will launch the chrome browser and we will see that we won't see that pop up and we will get congratulations message so it is saying congratulations you must have the proper credentials so you see that we are able to authenticate the credentials this time then there is a second way which is applicable in case of selenium 4 so as i have just discussed that uh, there is a interface has authentication so i'm simply going to type in has authentication let us try to understand what is this has authentication first right so has authentication as i mentioned it is an interface and it has two methods this is one method and this is another method right and as we are using the latest version of jdk so you see that along with non-implemented method i have the implemented method as well right so in, uh, from java 8 onwards we can have non-implemented as well as implemented method so in case you are not aware much on that so don't worry about that part right so you just think like for latest version of uh, jdk we can have abstract as well as non-abstract method so this is one register method and this is second register method in this case we are expecting two argument one is predicate and another is supplier so predicate and supplier is nothing but these are the functional interfaces introduced in java 8 in case you are not much aware of it don't worry about it i'll be creating a video on same i'll be creating a playlist around java 8 which will help you gain some good understanding right but let us i'll, I'll be discussing at high level here for the current lecture right now in this case it is expecting predicate and supplier two arguments but in this case it is expecting only one supplier right now this has authentication at is as this is an interface so it should have some implementation so what are those implementation now if i come outside right if i click on control t so i will get the implementations so you see that there are three implementation for this has authentication so let us go into the chromium driver right so you see that chromium driver is extending remote web driver and it is implementing has authentication so this has authentication is getting implemented in chromium driver right and now if i go inside the chromium chrome driver it is extending the chromium driver meaning chrome driver is extending the chromium driver and chromium driver is implementing the has authentication in it means that jose has authentication becomes the parent of chrome driver right so we can cast our driver to this right so this is what we are going to do now so similar to what we do in case of javascript executor we are going to cast it now what we are going to do we are going to use a register right so register is one method so first we will be talking about the default method which is already implemented in has authentication that is this method right so we will be covering this method then we will be coming to the second method so now there is a class username and password dot of right this is in selenium 4 so what we need to pass we need to pass username and password right so what it internally runs so if i go inside username uh, dot of uh, username and password dot of so it is returning uh, supplier right so this is the syntax of supplier right so supplier you can think of a method which has some return type but it does not have any argument meaning it does not take any argument but it supplies something right so this is so what it is supplying it is supplying the credentials right right now once we got these credentials using this register method what we are doing we are providing it to the driver right now driver dot get i'm again going to copy this same url but i will 
make sure that I'm removing the embedded username and password. So now, if we will run this particular uh, program, what will happen? So you will see that uh, this time also we want need credentials. So we will try to understand one by one like how it is internally working. So you see, you will notice now that we won't get the pop-up and we will be authenticated again, right? So you see that uh, it has the same behavior now, right? Now, <clears throat> this is one method. Uh, so it would be providing the credentials to all the URLs. So if I'm hitting this URL, if I'm hitting any other URL, then it will work for all the cases. What if, for example, this is one URL, tomorrow it could be any other application, right? So we should have some condition like for which type of URL we need to provide the credentials. So for that purpose, we use a condition. So that condition is nothing but we will be using the predicate here. So predicate you can think of like is used for the purpose of providing the implementation, right? So we are going to provide the implementation on URI, right? So I'm going to provide URI and we'll give it some reference variable. Now, in functional interface, we have one abstract method and we need to provide the implementation of same. So this is how we provide the implementation. So URI is one variable and URI dot get host. So what is the return type of get host? So get host return type is nothing but a string. Now what we are going to use, we are going to use contains and we are going to provide. So we are from the URI, we are getting the host and we are checking whether this URI contains this particular host or not or this particular content or not, right? Now, what will happen? So what we will be doing, we will be using the second method, right? So we discussed just now that has authentication has two methods. Uh, one is uh, this one, the one which is expecting the supplier. In case of supplier, it is internally using the same uh, credential again and again, right? But in case of the second method, it is expecting predicate. So we are going to use the same. Now what I will do, I will simply pass the URI, right? And what you will see that now we are going to pass the condition. So what will happen with because of this condition, it will add the credentials for this kind of URL, meaning the URL having this particular section. Why? Because we have applied this particular condition using the predicate, right? Now, if we will run this particular program again, so we will notice that we won't have the same scenario again, meaning we are again authenticated and we are able to land onto the desired page. So you will notice it has launched the Chrome browser and we are authenticated, right? So we are able to log in, right? Now, let us try to understand how it is internally working, right? So for that purpose, what I will do, I will simply put my breakpoint here and we will run it in the debug mode, right? Before that, I'll just simply show you like how it is internally working. So you see, first of all, it is coming here and it is first of all creating the session if the session is not already created and it is using the get tab tools. So this is some feature available in Selenium 4 uh, versions, right? So we get the Chrome, uh, this get tab tools, right? Chrome dev tools and using this get to uh, get dev tools, what they are doing, we are, they are accessing the domains and then the network method and then they are adding the auth, handle, auth handler, right? And then they are passing the username and password. So this is how they are adding the handler after initializing of driver, right? Now, let us debug it, right? So this is what we are going to discuss now. So if we will debug it, so we will, I'll show you like how it is getting passed. So I'm just uh, running it in debug mode now and we will, uh, I'll, I'll show you like how it is getting passed. So it should uh, stop here now once the execution is completed or I mean before launching the URL. So I'm removing this particular breakpoint. This is some internal. Now if I for example expand this driver right and here we have connection and in connection what we'll be doing there is an event callback. So we need to expand value and event callback 
and in event callback it is showing both required this is key value and these are arguments and now you will see that it has auth handler and auth handler has one key and this is the password uh, this is the value and you will notice that it has stored the username and password using the auth handler right to the driver so this is how we are adding the credentials to the driver using the has authentication has authentication interface right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video so there are two ways one by embedding the credentials into the url itself which can be used in selenium 3 as well as selenium 4 and second one is uh, using this particular has authentication interface right so i'll uh, say that uh, uh, think before using this kind of mechanisms because we are passing the credentials here right so what you should uh, take care of you should uh, like go for the test users or, or like you should uh, get the test users created before using this kind of things right okay uh, so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video thank you for watching if you like the content i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again